Hello and welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room. Today we're going to do this card here, um, which is Blended Bloom, which has been around for a while, but with the new um, pastel sort of shades of the Blendabilities. And I don't think I've ever done this um, this uh, particular stamp. I've um, actually done a video on how to do it, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and and do that today. So we're going to start off with the background card, and the background card is in pink pirouette. This is half a sheet of A4 folded in half at ten and a half centimeters, um, and then I've got a layer to go on the top, which is about three and three quarters by five and a half inches. Um, if you want to know that in centimeters, it's nine and a half by thirteen point eight centimeters. Can you see why I tell you in inches? Okay, so I'm going to emboss this with the Spring Flowers embossing folder, which is in the new Spring Summer catalogue, and I thought it was perfect to go with Blended Bloom. Instead of bringing in my great big big shot today, I'm bringing in the Texture Boutique. I use this a lot in classes. It's nice and easy to pass around, around the table. And... Um, it's nice not to have you change your plates as well, so if you're lazy like me and don't like changing your, your plates, which are nearly all on, um, always ready for framelits at the moment, um, it's actually quite a nice little tool to have. So, as I say, that's called Spring Flowers, and it will, of course, equally emboss with your Big Shot. So look at that, isn't that, can you see that, the texture on that? It is just lovely. So that's just going to be a layer on my card. And of course you can use the embossed side or the debossed side. But I'm using, having the embossed bit facing upwards. So I'm going to stamp with Blended Bloom. Now this actually comes wood mounted, um, but I like to see where I'm stamping. So I've actually demounted this one. And we were doing a big class with this and we had a fairly small area that we needed to stamp this on so I demounted it which you can do and if you wonder how to do that there is a video on my my uh, blog Elizabeth's Craft Room showing you how to demount a stamp. So I'm inking that up with Memento ink which is what you need um, for um, you can't use stays on because stays on is um, alcohol based and these markers are also alcohol based. So so you can see a bit more closely, I shall bring the camera a bit closer. Right, so I've brought the camera in a little bit more closely and I'll show you how I would colour in this flower. So I'm starting with the darkest um, colour, um, this is the pink peril head. And I'm starting in the middle and I'm going into the middle of each petal. Now I'm not going to go all the way round because I want this to blend well and if you actually leave the colours to dry they don't blend quite so well. So it's better to do, with a, with a bigger image like this, to do about a third of it, do the whole thing and then go back. So now I'm using my middle colour of the pink pirouette, medium. And they do say on the markers, if you sometimes, with some of them, it's not terribly clear which is dark, medium and light. I've missed a bit of dark there, so I'll need to go back and do that. And I like using little round circular motions to blend over the colour that I've already done. So there's a bit of the darker one, and then go over with the lighter one. And make sure you leave yourself plenty of space for the lightest colour. And I'm going over there. Now you don't want to press hard. You don't want to see that, um, that nib bending at all. Because that will start to damage the fibres. You're really just almost touching the marker on to the flower. So I'm going to stop at that point and do the other sections um, and then come back and show you how to do the middle. Okay so I've gone all the way around the flower with one layer there. Um, now you can actually build the colour up so if you want that, wanted that to be more vibrant you could go over and do another layer um, but personally I want this, this to stay nice and pale that's, that's actually what I'm going for today. 
So I'm going to now do what I'm going to have as the palest bit on here, which is just to go round in these pieces here. And here I'm not really aiming to blend, I'm wanting to actually keep that as the palest bit and have this piece a bit darker. These little bits around the edge a bit darker. You just touch the marker in on them. You do not have to be an amazing colourist. You can see I'm doing this quite quickly. Um, you know, you can take more time if you have it, but it doesn't. you don't have to be amazing at doing this. The blendabilities are very, very forgiving. And as you can see, you get a lovely effect with them. Let me hold that up more closely. And you can see I could work a little bit more on the um, on the pink to blend those lines in a little bit more if I wanted to. But I'm actually quite happy with it as, as it looks there. So I've now, now just been cutting this flower out. And I've saved you from watching me do all of it. But just go round gently, um, follow the lines nothing too technical about it and because we're going to put it onto a piece of white if you leave any little bits of white on the edge it's not going to show up um, too much so that's going to go just on here and we're going to pop that up with a few dimensionals it looks pretty on the back doesn't it as well and it's really nice to have some uh, um, of the paler colours now um, in our um, in our blendabilities range. It's nice that Stampin' Up! are bringing us some more um, colours to add to it. Um, and these will work very well along with the vibrant ones that we already have. So I've got a little piece of um, pink pirouette here. It's one and a half by three inches. And I'm going to cut into the middle here. Nothing very technical about this, but just to make a little flag end. And then there's another little uh, scrap of, of um, wild wasabi, which is that just going to pick up that same colour. That's about oh about an inch by about an inch by two inches, something like that. Might have to trim that down a little bit. I'm going to use this, which is the spiral border punch. This is in our big catalogue, um, and it's quite a good one to use. Let me just see if I can get those more or less lined up not too bad. It just makes that little as if it's been torn out of a book. I just like that look. It looks rather good to me. And I'm going to glue that straight on with some Tombow. And then I'm going to stamp um, from, um, this is one of the celebration um, offerings which is called Simply Wonderful and I'm going to use that to a great friend and stamp that in the Memento ink so I've got that one out and punch that out with the ticket punch it'll go into the oval and things as well this one I think And so I'm just going to trim that down a little bit. So whatever I said that was, it's a bit less than that. <laughs> it's really just to get a little bit of colour picking up that wasabi on there. And then I think we'll pop this up on some dimensionals as well. If you do jaunty, you don't have to worry about straight. We like that. Okay. So, our lovely blend abilities, and this is what we've made. So I hope you've enjoyed your visit to Elizabeth's Craft Room today. If you'd like some of these blendies, contact your Stamping Up demonstrator. And if you don't have a demonstrator, then I would be delighted to help you. You can contact me via Elizabeth's Craft Room. Just Google me and I will appear. Thanks for visiting Elizabeth's Craft Room today and I look forward to welcoming you back again soon. Love.